It's St. Patrick's Day, which for us means, well, heritage, of course, obviously. I'm Irish. Mostly Irish. Not so much, but <laughs> I'm Irish. <laughs> and we have a ton of birthdays coming up, too. So today is going to be all about Irish celebration. So we'll see you in a second. Come see what we're up to. Hi y'all, we're back here in the kitchen and we're gonna, gonna tell you a few little simple tricks. On um, St. Patrick's Day, I always make cupcakes that are laced with Guinness or with a stout beer. Irish. Irish stout. beer, it has to be an Irish gotta beer. Gotta be Irish. And making it easy, I just use a sugar-free um, cake mix and just substitute the water with, with beer. Mm -hmm. and it gives it, the chocolate just becomes chocolate. Yeah, it you, just kind of enhances. And you don't right? really taste the beer. And that's what the fun part is. Yeah. We're going to mix up a real quick frosting. Okay. And this is going to be uh, something simple. It's it, just cream cheese and a little bit of vanilla. And we're going to start with about um, half a cup or I'm going to put about half of this. So about a quarter of a cup? Then, yeah, okay. and we're going to do it by taste because we don't want this. You know, really, cream cheese frosting is really so strong. Yeah, and don't need with, much. And with um, a Trevia-type substitute, that puts a lot of sweet in there mm -hmm. real fast. So we're going to go real easy on this. Okay. Just turn it up and let her rip. Let her rip. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, let's, right. let's taste that and see where we are. Okay. Because we don't want it too terribly. Look what I found. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. Look at those cute little tiny little spoons. They're just little tasting spoons. Making a clean noise. In <laughs> here. I like it. I think it might need just a little bit more. Just a tad more. Okay. Not a lot. And I'm going to add just a little bit of, this is whipping cream. Just to loosen it up a little bit and make it a little easier to... Uh... Well, this frosting is quite popular in our family because around St. Patrick's Day, we actually have a ton of birthdays going on. We have my brothers, both of my brothers, their birthdays, my niece's birthday, my Sis son's birthday, and, and sister -in -law. my sister-in-law's birthday. We have birthdays out the wazoo throughout March, so this has become We have to have frosting. something. We yeah. have to have something. And when you're changing your diet you want it to appear exactly. to be like what you've had exactly. all your life exactly this is the easy way to do it let's just let this let's scrape that down a little bit yeah, scrape it down and see what happens there scrape 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 move your hands and i'll take the other side okay. <laughs> but this is Maybe. a simple very simple recipe and the, yeah, it's, it's quick kind and of easy. it's quick and easy. You don't have to invest a lot of time and effort mm -hmm. in it. Now, do you think it needs to be loosened anymore? Uh, maybe just a little bit to make it just a little more fluffy. I think because we just want to we want it where it'll we want it fluffy. We want it where it's going to move easy. I think you've about got it there. I think we're good on that. Let's grab one of these. One of these. Well, you want to use one of one of these little puppies? We can use that one. That'll work just okay. fine. Just and fine. What, I got to go that way. Okay. Well, let's just take this out. That works. Whoa! Watch out for the paddle. <laughs> doing it it's really interesting doing this backwards. Mm -hmm. So. I just lit my fingers on camera. So <laughs> sorry about that, guys. <laughs> But I know a few uh, Food Network chefs that have a fit over that. <laughs> oh, yeah. They they would really get me good. All right. I think I got it. Okay. That'll do. Let's, that here. Let's just see how it feels. And a lot of it is by feel. Kind of a... Um, oh, I still have a bite. a touch. Okay. Hand me oh, one. no. I licked my finger on camera, too. Just hand me one of those little jewels. <laughs> Let's see. We're starting with just a little bit. 
And that one's mom's and this one's mine. I can't eat gluten. And so I made my own version with a gluten-free cake mix. And since beer also has gluten in it, I That's used right. um, diet root beer in mine. So. And really and truly, this is a lot of cupcake. That is a lot of cupcake. That's that too a, much cupcake. It is really. a lot of cupcake. And we're going to... I like mine. I'm going to put some bite. cute little sprinkles on here. And I want you to move this over so I can... Okay, let me... Make that pretty. Yeah. Let's move your cat. Okay. Move it over. And I'm just going to put, we're just doing a quick, these are little green sprinkles. Little green sprinkles. Those are cute. And I oh, found sprinkles. these cute little Oh, things. I like those. If I can get them open without breaking the sound <laughs> man's ears <laughs> over there. I like little shamrock. Little shamrock. I like little shamrock. That's cute. Simple as pie. You've done it in ah. half, you know. And think about how much money you've saved by not going to the fancy bakery. To yeah, get no something kidding. this simple. No kidding. Gluten-free cupcakes, I can tell you, for a dozen um, run can run you up to $50 for a dozen mm -hmm. gluten-free cupcakes. Doing it this way, I used a $5 cake mix. And I used a $2 cake mix. We had cream cheese that we keep all the time. Yep. So for less than um less five dollars. Yeah. We so. did all of these. Yes. We did a tremendous yeah. amount of cupcakes. Yes. And when the kids get into them, I don't think they're gonna care which ones they get into. My um, <laughs> yours my, will. Yeah. My six year old actually is really, really, really picky. And the gluten free pink he hasn't tried the, the sugar free ones, but the gluten free cake mix actually is made with garbanzo bean and um, fava bean mm -hmm. flowers, and you would think that it would be kind of, eh, and but they're really delicious. And he sat there and he ate it, and he told me, "Mama, this is the best cupcake I've ever had in my life." And when you get so. a recipe for gluten free, if it has a weird look to it, like I did one the other day that called for a whole quarter cup of vanilla in it, mm -hmm. put it in because it makes a difference. It because sometimes difference. they can have a little aftertaste to them. So, Speaking of aftertasting, I'm going to taste my little cupcake. You go right ahead. That looks so good. I'm going to perfect little negative joy. I'm going to get into mine too. Mm. Mm -hmm. And since I can't eat the whole thing, I'll break it off <laughs> so somebody can share with me. Yeah, she should have made minis. <laughs> well, the mini pan was busy. <laughs> All go. right. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> and the biggest thing is, you know, for celebrations and stuff. It's okay to deprive yourself most of the time because we, let's face it, we didn't get to where we were pre-surgery by depriving ourselves. That's right. So we do have to deprive ourselves a little bit. But when it comes to a celebration time, not feeling deprived is key to success. And so this is the perfect The other thing for that. is send these home with somebody who has a house full of kids. Yes. The kids will eat them. They don't have a problem. Yes. And you've made somebody else happy. Exactly. All right. Well, we got a couple other things we're going to show you really quick before we go. In the meantime, I'm going to finish my snack, and we'll see you in just a second. Hi, everybody. We're back, and we've got a couple of other little quick tips for you. Mm -hmm. I am big on cooking um, meat in beer, mm -hmm. and this I cooked in stout. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a corned beef. You, you buy the Corned, corned beef brisket. Okay. Brisket that you get in the package at your grocery store. It comes with all the pickling mm -hmm. spices and everything. Mm -hmm. Throw it in a crock pot. With the beer on top of it? With the okay. beer on top. And uh, that's it. That's wow. it. And, and cook it for, I think this cooks six, seven hours okay. on low. So basically all day. You can just throw it in the yeah. morning and away you go. Okay. The instruction says to boil on top of the stove for three hours. Well, we did it in a crock pot, so... Okay. We're doubling the time. And we're going to cut that in just a second. This is short ribs. Uh -huh. Did the same thing. In the Irish stout. Okay. In the crock pot with the Irish stout. I did add a, a box of uh, uh, beef broth. Okay. And onions. Only they difference. Look delicious. So we're going to get into them right now okay. and see how they taste. Well, I'm going to let you because I can't have beer. <laughs> well, you know. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
This That's is, the, that is the one thing about being gluten free that kind of puts well, a damper on life is you can't have certain things. But you know what? You can do the same thing here by just using beef stock, or again, you can use a sugar free soda if you want to. That, well, and there's some good gluten free beers on the market as well. Yeah, that's true. This is still a little warm. That's not uh -huh. why it's not wanting to cut real easily. But you cut Look at that color. You that cut color across the grain on that. That color is beautiful. And then I'm going and to it's just, just beautifully pink on the inside, which is exactly what you want to see. I'm going to just cut a piece of this it's off. And, and really, truly, this is the same way. It'll be a little pink on the inside, and it cooked about the same length of time. So it's just beautiful. I'm going to just. Uh, serve up a little bit over here so you everybody can get a taste so simple as pie I'm gonna put this right here under the All camera right. <laughs> but just simple as the easy as pie serve it with uh, cabbage uh -huh. um, yeah which boiled, is traditional boiled potatoes cabbage and potatoes you got to have cabbage and potatoes on St. Patty's Day and I do a um, boil the potatoes lay them on a pan after they're cold Mm -hmm. And smash exactly. it with your okay. hand. Then pour a rosemary butter, just butter with rosemary oh, chopped yum. up in it. Pour that over the top of it. Now, these recipes are going to be on our website. Yes. And notice I said website. If you haven't been there, all right, we're calling this the officially official announcement. You need to go check out our website. It's www.7, number 7, bitesshow.com and that is going to be down there in the description and these recipes will be on there with complete instructions everything you need to know on how to cook a quick brisket and quick is the key word there yes yeah quick everything everything quick gets easy. dumped in the crock pot and you walk away throw it in the crock pot set it and forget it and away you go here we go let's so, see how give that a taste and we'll see how that tastes is. you have to describe it fully for me Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry smell, you can't taste know. this. The smell alone is incredible. <laughs> She's singing at me. You take the high road and I take the low road. And oh, I'll boy. be wherever before you. <laughs> I'm terrible. All right, well, we're going to leave you guys today with an Irish blessing. May the road rise up to meet you. May the sun always be at your back. May the rain fall upon your fields. And may God guide your hand until we meet again. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Don't forget to go check out our website. Click the subscribe button. Click the like button. Share us with all of your friends. Y'all come back to see what we're up to next. See you later. Yeah.